fish oil, cod liver oil, and now krill oil. What's the difference and which, if any, should you be taking? Keep watching to find out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm a health coach and I post videos on a high fat, nutrient dense way of eating. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, feel free to share and make sure to subscribe. So I'm sure you've heard that all three of these oils that we're gonna talk about today are a good source of omega-3s. But is there anything beyond that? Is there any reason to choose one of them over the others? That's what we're gonna talk about today. So first, let's talk about fish oil. Fish oil is usually harvested from herring, mackerel, tuna, and anchovies. As I said before, it contains omega-3 fatty acids, specifically DHA and EPA, which are essential for our health, especially our brain health. And omega-3s are the main reasons someone would be taking a fish oil. Fish oil is the most popular out of all three oils we're gonna talk about today. And I think mainly because it is just the most common, fish oil is everywhere. But because there are so many brands on the market, it's hard to guarantee quality. Now, the type of fat that omega-3 fatty acids are is polyunsaturated fat. And polyunsaturated fat is pretty unstable. It oxidizes very easily when exposed to heat, oxygen, and light. For this reason, you always, always want to keep your fish oil, cod liver, or krill oil in the fridge and get through it as quickly as you can. This will minimize the chance of it oxidizing. Now, once you actually get the product, you are obviously in control. You can keep it in the fridge. You can get through it quickly. But before it gets to you, you have no idea where it's been. It could be sitting in a hot truck. I oftentimes see fish oils just sitting on store shelves. Ugh, and this just makes me cringe because there are so many fish oils on the market. Like I said before, it's hard to guarantee quality. And this is one of the reasons that I don't generally take fish oil. So next up, let's talk about cod liver oil. As well as being an amazing source of DHA and EPA, cod liver is also a great source of vitamin D, vitamin A, and vitamin E. One teaspoon contains 850 IU of vitamin A, and 400 IU of vitamin D3. These are two fat soluble vitamins that most of us are not getting enough of. And this is one reason you might choose cod liver oil over fish oil, just the extra nutrition. There are also less cod liver oils on the market, so it's a little bit easier to find a high quality brand and ensure that it is fresh. And finally, we're gonna talk about krill oil. So this is one I wasn't too familiar with until recently, and I've just started looking into it more. Krill are small shrimp-like crustaceans. Like the previous two, krill oil is high in DHA and EPA, but the omega-3s in krill oil are bound to phospholipids, whereas with fish oil, they're bound to triglycerides. This is significant because this increases the absorption rate. One of the other characteristics that sets krill oil apart is that it contains the antioxidant astaxanthin. This makes the oil more resistant to oxidation, which as I mentioned earlier, is a concern. It is also important to note that krill are pretty low down on the food chain. This is important for anyone who is concerned about mercury or other contaminants. Fish that are lower down on the food chain have a way lower risk of being contaminated. And this is one of the reasons you might choose krill oil over other types of oil. Over the last year or so, I have been a big fan of cod liver oil. I was taking it more or less every single day for a while. I really try to get at least one high quality source of omega-3s in every single day. So if that's not cod liver oil, it's gonna be krill oil, it's gonna be salmon, it's gonna be mackerel, it's gonna be oysters, it's gonna be something. And those are the main differences between fish oil, cod liver oil, and krill oil. Now, before I wrap this video up, I just wanted to let you know about Perfect Keto's krill oil. They recently dropped the prices on a number of their items and krill oil was one of them. It used to be $29.99 and now it is $25.99. So if you're interested in krill oil, definitely check it out and make sure you use my discount code because you will save an additional 15%. 
Thank you guys for watching and let me know in the comments down below if you use any of these oils. Do you notice a difference from one to the other? Do you prefer one over the others? Let me know down below and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Over the last year or so, I have been a big fan of Jesus.